Hey beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Divine and I'm here with a bit of reading on what are their thoughts of you today. So, I also want to add that I'm open for personal readings and chakra cleansings. If you wish to book a reading or cleansing with me, message my email, which is written in the description box down below. Also, the timestamps for this reading are linked in the description box or in the comments section. So, definitely check that out to get fast forward to your reading. Alright, so I picked out three piles for you today. For the first pile, we have the Tiger's Eye. For the second pile, we have the Rose Quartz Crystal. And for the third pile, we have the Green Aventurine. Okay, so to whichever pile or crystal you feel drawn to the most, just close your eyes, take a deep breath and feel whichever card or crystal calls out to you the most and basically that's your pile. Hey guys, it's Sophie who chose pile 1, the tiger's eye. This is a reading, okay? So let's see, what are their thoughts of you today? What are your person's thoughts of you today? We have the devil card as your overall energy today. So definitely their thoughts are really sensual towards you. They they yearn for that intimacy with you that physical and emotional intimacy that you guys are missing out with each other they really miss you they're longing for you it's like they have this addiction towards you that they can deny and what i'm also getting is that they're also thinking about the oppressing situation that they're in right now like this oppressing situation was created by them because of their foolish acts because of their immature approaches towards this connection towards others towards themselves so they do have this feeling of guilt okay of not understanding what they had or what they're missing because they do yearn this connection they yearn for you they miss you i feel like you guys are at a distance from each other or it's just that you know you guys are not in contact right now so so this person really misses you but definitely you are like a drug for this person <laughs> Okay, they can't stop thinking about you. You are heavily on their minds. Centrally, spe especially centrally, okay? So, they're really tempted by this connection is also what I'm seeing. And they're also thinking about the negative outcomes that could occur in this connection. Okay, the assumptions, the negative assumptions. Maybe, you know, your person overthinks too much, which is why they are too negative towards anything that's coming their way. Okay, maybe they were negative about the situation, this connection as well, which is why things were, you know, really complicated between you guys. It's just that this person doesn't trust anyone. They have trust issues when it comes to, like, you know, relationships, building deep bonds, and they're working on it. They're working on, you know, themselves and making themselves stronger for not being, you know, too much affected by, you know, someone, someone's opinion. Because your person really has gone through a lot of BS in life, which is why they're too protective of themselves when it comes to, like, you know, their reputation or, you know, building a deep bond, bond with someone, like I just said. So... Yeah, what are they thinking about? They're thinking about, you know, keeping their distance from you a little bit because, you know, they do have some negative assumptions when it comes to this connection. And like I told you, they overthink a lot. So definitely they are taking a step back and thinking this through. But they do, they're thinking about this, you know, physical intimacy with you. Okay, like central time. So definitely that's the energy. They are super attracted to you. They find it to be really attractive just breathtaking okay let's get some more cards to see what else are they thinking about here right now what are they thinking about you today the sun okay we have the sun over here what the hell the ten of pentacles in reverse okay we have it in reverse guys in reverse Just a second. Ten of Swords. Okay, yeah, I was getting that ending, that tough ending between you guys. If you guys, you know, really did. Just a second. We have the Magician. 
the magician. Okay, and we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so what I'm getting over here is that your person, okay, they are thinking about how um, how they sabotage the connection because of the negative thinking, the negative behavior. Or it's just that, you know, they are, you know, self-pitying themselves, like, you know, a lot. Okay, they, they do pity themselves a lot. Okay, definitely. So basically, your person is just feeling like, you know, they're thinking about how you stabbed them in the back or how someone else, you know, stabbed them in the back. Okay, I'm just, you know, laying out the possibilities. Okay, but yeah, this person really feels backstabbed. They think that, you know someone was the cause like some other like maybe some other people wait a second maybe you know there was a third party situation in this connection which is why you know this connection went downhill like maybe friends or family someone really made a person negative towards you like they weren't all negative in the beginning of this connection they were too positive you know they saw you i mean they see you as the sun as someone who's like you know really positive it's like you're you're oppos opposites of each other, okay? You're completely opposite of each other and that's why you're attracting each other even more. That's what a person is thinking because you're light, okay? And they're, you know, the darkness or something, okay, that's a little cheesy, but that's how they see themselves, you know, as a dark personality and they see you as a light, you know, personality, basically, if that makes sense, okay? But definitely, like, with the sun over here, they do see you, they think about you as a really pleasant person to be around with, someone who they could be happy with because you provide them with hope, fulfillment, and you heal their inner child. Maybe their inner child is just, you know, really, like, like, they have some old wounds that they need to clear up and you're helping them. You're healing your person, okay? With your kindness, your, your, you know, your advice, basically. If you guys, you know, have talked to each other, definitely this person really appreciates your help. They, they see you as their sunshine. Maybe this person calls you sunshine or it's just that, you know, they think about, you know, going out with you a lot, like hanging out with you in the sun, going on a picnic or something, going like, you know, just, you know, going out in daylight. I don't know why, but I'm getting the specific detail in your reading. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this person really doesn't believe in commitments. But when it comes to see you, they get scared, okay? They think negatively, like, how could I just, you know, how could I fall for this? How could I actually, like, get into something so serious at such an age or something, okay? They, they Or, you know, just, you know, this is for those of you guys who have a young partner, okay? But... But definitely, like, this person was not ready for anything serious, which is why, you know, they ended things because, they, you know, they just felt this was too intense. And they saw this negatively, but they're looking forward to a new beginning with you. They're thinking about how to make this work with the right, you know, with the right approach. They don't want to, like, mess anything up anymore because, you know, last time didn't end well for some of you guys. If you guys did have a future, okay, if you didn't, sorry, if you didn't, what the hell am I saying? I mean, if you guys had a past with each other, definitely that would resonate with you guys. If you didn't have a past with each other, you guys, you know, just met this person. This is a new person that you are, that you're asking about. Okay, or you met them a few months ago, a year ago, or two years or something. Okay, definitely like, you know, your person has gone through a lot of BS in their life. Okay, that's why they are too negative when it comes to any situation. But they think differently when it comes to you. They just they just think about positive things. So it really like, it tempts them. Yeah, you are a temptation for your person. Like you provide them with positivity as well as, you know, sensuality. <laughs> but with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you know, I'm going to clarify this. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I'm really curious to see what the hell this means. I mean, this person doesn't want to take things seriously right now. They are thinking about taking things slowly. They're starting to getting, you know, they just want to get to know each other. I mean, they just want to get to know you first, mind me. Okay, then they want to jump into something serious. But they have no intention to jump into something serious right now, to be honest. Okay, let me just clarify the Ten of Pentacles first.
queen of pentacles yes okay yeah like i just said they have this guilt okay like like i just said they have they have this oppressive situation like they can't commit to anyone like this is not the age of commitment if this is a young person that you're asking about or it's just that this person has some sort of like you know they are too biased which is why they are not able to commit to anyone they get too negative with their own terms and conditions with their rules and regulations they get too confused okay they can't you know they just can't they can't adjust is what i'm seeing because you adjust a lot you're like they know that you're marriage material okay they think of you as marriage material as wifey hubby material but they just they just can't do this right now which is why they don't want to hurt you okay they're thinking this negatively as like as well okay seriously just a second You have judgment, okay, but they want to give it another shot. They don't want to lose this, okay? They don't want to lose this beautiful vibe that you guys share with each other. Even though you guys have developed a bond, okay? No matter what the situation is between you guys, you guys have developed a bond with your person that is inevitable and your person knows about it. They feel it. Their intuition guides them towards you and they can't help it. They have to, like, blend in. And they don't want to blend in. They are, you know, trying to run away from this. Because they are scared, okay? They are scared. They they just they just don't know what to think, what to understand, and what to believe. It's too hard for them to cope up with such a situation. But it's a beautiful mess, is what your person thinks. You are, you know, one of the most challenging experiences that they have ever conquered in their life. And they just love this vibe because... They enjoy their time with you and they don't want to lose you, like I just said. But they are ignoring their feelings, to be honest, okay? This person doesn't even know that they're denying their feelings. They're unaware of that, which literally, like, shows that your person is immature, okay? Person is a little immature when it comes to love, relationships, commitment. And they are learning their, you know, they're, they're learning their lessons along the way. And they're going to recognize more of what they think about you what they feel for you one day they will actually like you know accept this and make a big decision that's what i'm seeing okay but it's up to them completely if they do that or not okay if they are just playing around fooling around with you just not taking this seriously you should consider moving on because waiting is not an option okay it's for the best do what's you know the best for you always keep that in mind keep yourselves first don't depend on someone else for your happiness okay so yeah i guess it's very second also this person thinks of you as a really attractive individual they find you to be super beautiful handsome and they just can't help themselves like i just said they're too tempted okay they're too tempted by this connection by you you are heaven on earth for your person and they are not recognizing this. I mean, they do think about this, but they don't do dwell too much on this. Okay, they, they just think about other things, minor things. They don't. They're not seeing the the picture. Okay, they're not seeing the main thing. They're looking at the minor, you know, distractions of you. Okay, if that makes sense. But yeah, I guess this is all for you guys today. I hope it resonated. If it didn't resonate, you're free to check out the past in this reading or check out movies on my channel. So love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Bye bye. Hey guys, it's a few who chose Pile 2, the Rose Quartz Crystal. This is a reading, okay? So let's see. What are your person's thoughts of you today? We have the lovers as your overall energy today. So, what I'm getting is that this person is thinking about a relationship with you, a commitment with you. They're fantasizing about the positive outcomes of this connection. Okay, because this person sees a future with you. They see, you know, a happy ending with you. They see you as the one. They're thinking about commitment. That's what I'm seeing. They're thinking about commitment. That's the overall energy of your reading. And they're also thinking about cuddling with you, going out with you, having fun with you, just holding you close, holding you in their arms where they can always, you know, just have you by their side. They're also thinking about, you know, how you're heaven on earth for your person. It's like, this is the best experience of their life is what they're thinking. You are, you know, you have really 
you have given them a gift of love appreciation and they just can't they just can't like they can't digest this it's like too much for a person to take in like it's positively too much to take in not negatively okay they're not you know too anxious about it they're just too happy about the situation okay your person really wants to cherish you if you guys are not in a relationship yet this person really wants to be in a relationship they're thinking about it constantly it's the main thing that that's on their mind okay if you guys are not committed yet wait did i just say that yeah if you guys are committed with each other this person is thinking about taking a step forward in this connection in this relationship whatever okay this person really wants to this person doesn't want to wait because they instantly felt this pull towards you that they can deny and they still feel it so they want to take things forward they they think that this is the real thing this is it this is you are the person that they're supposed to end up with and they're happy with it they see they they, they just they just can't they, they just <laughs> see you as a perfect candidate to you know, build a life with. Just a second, let's see, let's get some more cards, you know, because I'm not charming too much from this card, just a second. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, this makes sense. Nine of Wands. Eight of Swords. What the hell is the Eight of Swords doing over here? I'm really confused, just a second. Okay. Four of Wands and the Three of Wands. Okay, let me see what this um, Eight of Swords is about. Four of Swords. Oh, I see. Okay. And the Fool. Yeah, okay. I see that this person has set their options aside. I mean, this person has a lot of options, okay? They have a lot of people who are chasing them, who want to be with them, who are trying to grab their attention no matter what. And your person is literally denying them, okay, denying their requests, okay? Because you stand out in a crowd for your person. They know that this is the real thing. They can see the future with you. It's something serious. They're, they're really serious about this connection. I mean, if you guys have met just met this person, this person really just can't help themselves, but fall in love with you yeah they fell in love with you they're too in love with you actually yeah it's like this person really just can't can't just ignore the intensity of this connection you know that's the only wait a second with this ten of cups oh, sorry ten of pentacles why the hell am i saying ten of cups okay so this person thinks of you as like marriage material because we have the four of wands and the ten of pentacles that's like too obvious that this person is thinking about marriage with you and a higher level of commitment at least a higher level of commitment but definitely they plan on marrying you having kids with you having it all with you having a pet with you having the world's happiness with you making your wishes come true Making you feel at home because you make them feel like they're at home. They see you as their home. Okay, and they think that you are the best feeling that they've ever had in their life. Like I just said, they're uplifting you a lot in their thoughts, in their imagination. Even though they might not show it, that they're super excited, that they're just so happy to have you by their side. But on the inside, they're bursting out. They just can't help, to help themselves. Like I, was just I was, like I was just saying, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> But yeah, with this Knight of Wands, oh my god, what is this, like, distraction? I mean, I'm getting distracted again and then again, which is why, you know, I'm stuttering now and then. But yeah, like, this person is really excited that they're so anxious as well. Oh my god. And I'm seeing that there are some distractions out there who are trying to make your person go the other way, okay? By distractions, I mean friends or family or someone else, like another love interest who is trying to like steal your person away from you. But don't worry because your person is on guard about this. They're not trying to, they're actually isolating themselves. Okay, they're not, they're not trying to be too much of a risk taker in this situation. They don't want to associate with anyone. You are the only one that they think of. They only have eyes for you. And they just see you as their goal, their ambition. 
their life is meant for you is what they think you are their destiny you guys were fated to meet each other like this person is like a hopeless romantic if you ask me okay like this person really just can't shake the fact that they have met such an incredible person like you you are just amazing in their eyes and they just can't they can't okay they they need a moment to breathe i mean this person can't even sleep at night they have had sleepless nights thinking about you they're too too excited they're too happy to have met you you are a freaking blessing not even a blessing like more than a blessing dude like you guys are like a an angel for your person okay seriously an angel from heaven this is too much i know but that's what your person thinks i can't do anything in that okay i'm not sure quoting this and your person literally is thinking about the right time to move forward in this connection they're looking at the future they're gazing into the possible outcomes of this connection and they're trying to make the right moves they're being really cautious really really you know relevant with their next you know plan okay it's a, it's like they're planning for something they're planning for you know a better future with you guys to settle in maybe they're balancing out their finances they're thinking of saving up more so that they can afford a great life with you maybe you guys are married to each other okay some of you guys might be married we have two marriage cards over here if you guys are married this person is just in a really good mood right now okay like and they will be in a good mood always because they respect you i mean this person really respects you okay they wish to give you a gift as well okay they might give you flowers or or you know plushies i guess they just want to have this you know candlelight dinner with you is also what i'm seeing they're thinking about a candlelight dinner with roses all around them or whatever flowers they like okay but or whatever flowers you like they want to do for you something for you something special for you maybe someone's birthday is coming up or something else is coming up okay so they're just fantasizing about you know how they could celebrate with you or you know or just you know spend some quality time with you because they want to make memories with you they're thinking about how they could just you know make you happy seeing that smile on your face they want to preserve that smile you have the best smile in the world is what they think like it's nothing like they've seen before it's too much for your person okay like they're super attracted to you they just they're super inspired by you and they just can't control themselves like i just said they just want to go all in with you they're ready for you know any action that you would you will take okay they they don't care they're ready to surrender i mean they are they are already surrendering okay they see you as their equal match okay so i'm seeing that this person is literally limiting their sight okay like you know they're trying to blind themselves when it comes to new beginnings in this connection or in other you know situations so this person really needs to like clear up their mind because they're too invested in this energy right now they're too obsessed with you it's like they're obsessed with you in a good way and this person wants to take you know action really fast they're running out of patience is what i'm seeing and they can see what an adventurous journey you guys have forward they're thinking about it okay and they want to create something with you okay maybe you guys have children with your person and you know this person really wants to move in with you if you guys are separated or they just that they're feeling really grateful to have you by their side have you in their life if you guys don't have kids they intend to have one so be careful when you're around this person okay oh my god and seriously like they're ready to go through anything that will come in their way when they're you know dealing with this connection with the situation they don't give a shit about what comes what you know what literally is in the way they're gonna do anything to have you by their side okay and they don't give a shit about what people say they are too like you know they're like too blind in love for you is what i'm seeing okay i know this is too much for some of you guys you guys are thinking that you know what am i saying but that's what i'm channeling guys okay for you guys today and i'm not sugarcoating anything so i guess this is all that i have for you guys today i hope it resonated if it didn't resonate you're free to check out the positive this reading or check more videos on my channel so love you guys i'll see you guys soon like share and subscribe for more videos bye, -bye. hey guys that's a few who chose pile three the green adventure and this is a reading okay so let's see what are the thoughts of you today we have the eight of pentacles as your overall energy 
So what are they thinking about? They're thinking about how to balance their finances or how to work with you, how to ensure a stable future with you. But this person really is a workaholic is what I'm getting. This person works a lot. They are struggling with finances for some of you guys. They're going through some financial constraints right now, which is why they're not able to give you time. They're not available emotionally in general, okay, or physically even. Obviously, they're working, lol. But it's just that this person really is, you know, thinking about working with you, developing this connection, stabilizing the future, gaining that financial security it's in this connection because they want to provide for you. They don't want you to feel like they can't meet up meet up your expectations, either physically, emotionally, or financially. They just want to keep you happy in all aspects, okay, is what I'm seeing. And they're also thinking about developing themselves as well. Because they want to keep you happy, so they have to, like, you know, love themselves first, right? So they're trying to find that happiness in themselves so that they can keep you happy, if that makes sense, okay? So let's get some more cards. Nine of Wands. Okay, yeah, like I just said, this person is keeping their distance right now. Just a second. Three of Cups. This person is not available right now because they're working and working to stabilize themselves financially. We have the artist. This person might draw you or they already drew you in the past. Okay, is what I'm getting. Or they intend to draw you. They're thinking about you know, drawing a portrait of you or something. We have the Eight of Swords. Above well, the deck energy, seven of cups. Okay. So this person is also considering all options that are in the way that they have on their end. Okay. They're not trying to limit themselves. They're trying to accept all opportunity. All opportunities that are coming their way that are knocking their door. And they are still like, you know deciding what they need to do what they what they want okay maybe they have options between people like you and someone else or you know something else is coming up but they do fantasize a lot about you you never get off their mind even when they're working they think of you a lot okay but with the nine of wands over here i feel like this person is trying to avoid you like first first when I channeled the energies of your reading, I was getting this positive energy, but all of a sudden I'm getting this, you know, energy where this person is trying to willingly blind themselves and look at the situation negatively. Okay. It's like this person knows that they can do right by you, but they're not willing to do it right now because they're not comfortable with themselves. They're not they're not just ready. They're not ready for this. They're not ready for something really serious which is why they intend to stay friends with you or they just intend to keep you in this you know safe zone where you know they feel safe first of all then they're gonna like take a serious action towards this connection don't worry because they will one day is what i'm getting okay but with the nine of wands what i'm getting is that this person has a lot of determination when it comes to this connection okay like they do see you as a great partner this person longs to be with you. This person wants to reconcile with you. They want to meet up with you. Okay? They want to bump into you. They wish that they could bump into you. They're thinking about, you know, they're thinking about fake, like fake scenarios. Where they're making up scenarios in their head that they're meeting up with you. All of a sudden, you know, they're just, you know, having a great time with you. This person really misses you. Okay? They fantasize a lot about you, like I was just saying. So... They really want to celebrate with you as well. Like, they see you as a good friend. And maybe you guys work together. So they want to collaborate with you as well. Okay, they're thinking about collaborating with you. Being a partner in a business or something for some of you guys. Okay. But yeah, when they're done with this, when they're done with their work, they want to celebrate with you. They want to celebrate this victory that they have achieved you know, in their life so that, you know, you could, you could actually get the time and energy, their time and energy that you wish for, okay, because they want to make your wishes come true, I was really getting that right now, I was really getting that vibe, okay, that's why they're keeping you away, they're trying to make you understand that you should also love yourself first, you should also focus on yourself, you should develop yourself, 
be the best version of yourself for yourself okay if that makes sense but yeah they just want to inspire you because you inspired them okay and they want the best for you they're they're your well wishers okay and they really have a deep bond with you they have developed a deep bond with you it's not like it's not like they they they're scared of you or they don't want to face this connection that like they're not interested they are interested in you okay but they're trying to keep things casual and for you know for you know this for figuring things out they're actually like overwhelmed by what they're going through right now they're going through a tough time okay so they really need some time to think some time to gain back that confidence okay but they really want to celebrate with you. they really want you by their side when they're actually done with this when they're actually free to love to live their lives to the fullest they feel like right now they can't okay which is why they're distancing themselves from you from others it's not just like they're not talking to you no they they are thinking about you they do want you don't doubt it okay but it's just that they are busy okay they're busy they're working and they just they can't they can't you know they can't feel confident around you unless they actually achieve something valuable in their life so that they could just you know feel comfortable you know this person has some insecurities which is why they're trying to be a better version of themselves and they want you to do the same for yourself okay this person is a well wisher i always say that okay seriously so with the eight of swords <clears throat> this person is also confused what is this person confused about i'm really yeah you know what the seven of cups is also about illusions it's all about illusions fantasies fake scenarios but you know what i'm seeing over here is that having their head in their clouds but definitely like this person need, knows that if they need to if they need you by their side they need to get out of this you know imaginary world and step into reality and they're doing that right now they're taking action towards building a future with you building that solid foundation with you by working hard by being financially stable okay i don't know what this what, what's going on between you guys but this person is super damn serious when this when it comes to this connection when it comes to you Okay, they're doing this for you. They really, like, they're admiring you from afar right now. They're watching you. They're watching your every move. They're stalking you on social media. They're super curious about you, okay? And they want to, they really want to create something with you. It's not like they're just like, you know, they're not interested. No, they are interested. Okay, it's just that they're, but they're busy right now. They're not available. They're not available for themselves. They're not available for themselves. How could they be available for you? They're not even getting proper sleep, proper food, proper, you know, like nothing good is going on in their life right now, but they're trying to make that, they're trying to seal their victory. So give them some time. Be patient with your person, okay? I'm going to see what the hell is this, you know, Eight of Swords about. I'm really curious. Okay. So this person really is trying to gain a lot from whatever they have right now. They're thinking about new ideas, new opportunities, new ways to approach new, like, you know, new people, new jobs or something. Okay. But definitely, like, this person might have a double shift or something for some of you guys. Let's take my resonates. Like I just said, you might work with this person. For some of you guys, if you do, if you guys don't work yet, this person wants to work with you. This person looks forward to that. Looks forward to be in a partnership with you, financially and emotionally and physically. Okay, so so yeah, like this person really like they have this you know insecurity. Like I just said, they're willfully blinding themselves to seeing the light of the situation they're really confused they feel helpless okay 
they're psychologically trapping themselves they have some oppressive ideas which is why they are you know acting this way but it's like they have imposed these restrictions on themselves but it's up to them right it's their life it's their decision so we can't do anything in that right but they will come around and I'm, I'm sure it like even if you move on from this person this person will still come back and you know celebrate this victory with you because you were the one who inspired them to do something like this you are the one who actually gave them you know the motivation to do something major like this or whatever they're working on okay you changed your person you made them grow maybe in the past they were too immature but now they're seeing that they're nothing okay they're nothing right now they need to be something that they were missing something you made them realize that that's a big thing if you ask me okay and this person has many options but you know they have this insecurity that they, they, that they don't have any option okay that they don't have an option they have to do this it's like, you know, they can't do anything in that. If that's your person's, you know, energy, that's what they're thinking. Just a second, let me clarify the Eight of Swords. Seven of Wands, yes, okay. Six of Wands, okay. So what I'm seeing is that this person is not seeing that, you know, they can they can get that victory that they're longing for. They are not like accepting some opportunities that could lead them to their, you know, satisfied future, that satisfying future. But seriously, like this person is really like avoiding contact with anyone. They're trying to stay alone by themselves they think that if they stay alone they will actually be victorious they can actually win this okay they can win this you know deal or win this challenge with a oppressive with an oppressive idea with an oppressive attitude so it's up to them right it's up to them what they want to do okay about this connection but definitely like seriously this person really likes you okay i can see that attraction over here but they're trying to work on themselves first before they jump into something serious with you, all right? I hope it resonates with you. Okay, so yeah, well, I guess this is all that I have for you guys today. I hope it resonated. If it doesn't resonate, if you check out the positive this reading, or check out more videos on my channel. So, love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Bye.